Hello, everybody. It's seven o'clock. Did somebody say book festival? My name is Brian Vines. I'm a board member at the Brooklyn Book Festival, and we are so happy that you're coming into the room, joining us for this announcement of one of the greatest events to happen in Brooklyn and the amazing people who are going to be joining us. Welcome to the press launch for the 2021 Brooklyn Book Festival. And I'd love to introduce you right now as you filter in and text your friends that we're on live to Liz Koch, the co-producer of the Brooklyn Book Festival. Hi, everybody. I'm Liz Koch, co-producer of the Brooklyn Book Fest Festival together with Carolyn Greer. This is a very sweet year for the Brooklyn Book Festival. It is our sweet 16. For all these years, we have been presenting a festival that celebrates authors, books, and ideas free to the public. What is especially sweet is this year, we are so excited to welcome authors and audiences back to downtown Brooklyn for an in-person festival day and children's day. Our outdoor stages and literary marketplace will bring book lovers together again, outdoors and safely. But there's more. At the end of the day, our night shift begins with virtual programming on the global stage. We look forward again to bringing together a diversity of authors from across the country and the world who generously share their time and minds with us. Most importantly, remember, save the dates for the festival. Citywide bookend events and partner programs will take place live and virtually September 26th to October 2nd and October 4th. Our Children's Day will be live on October 2nd. And of course, our celebratory festival day is October 3rd. See you then. All right, thank you so much for keeping us honest with the dates, Liz. I can't wait to be out of my house and wearing pants that don't have an elastic waistband. I look forward to seeing all of you there as well in person and in the virtual space as we celebrate books and the people who make them. Now, we have some exciting announcements tonight about the 2021 Hybrid Festival, but I get to start things off right now with the announcement of the artist who's created the official 2021 art poster, artist Rodrigo Corral. Rodrigo runs Corral, uh, Rodrigo runs Rodrigo Corral Art and Design Studio and is the creative director at FSG and New Directions. Now, with a focus on conceptual art, his work spans print, art, film, brand identity, and interior spaces. He designed the New York Times best-selling book, Decoded, by Brooklyn Boy Jay-Z, Principles by Ray Dalio, and The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. He also created multiple covers for the Pulitzer Prize-winning author Juno Diaz and best-selling author Jeff Vandermeer. Recently, Rodrigo published his own book, the New York Times bestselling Sneakers, the book. Rodrigo remains deeply committed to pushing the visual possibilities of art, sports, and throughout the universe. Without any further ado, here is the 2021 Brooklyn Book Festival art poster. Gorgeous. Thank you so much for the work, Rodrigo. We can't wait to see more and be inspired. It's a sponge, we're gonna soak it all up. Now I'd love to introduce Camille Rankin, the co-chair of the Brooklyn Book Festival Literary Council, who will make the very special announcement of this year's Bobby Award winner. Hey, everyone. Um, I am so excited to be introducing uh, this year's Bobby Award winner. Um, this year's recipient of the Best of Brooklyn Award will be the magnificent Toy Derricotte. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her, and then we're going to bring her on. Um, Toy is the recipient of the 2020 Frost Medal from the Poetry Society of America. Her sixth collection of poetry, I, New and Selected Poems, was published in 2019 and shortlisted for the 2019 National Book Award. Her other books of poetry include The Undertaker's Daughter, Tender, Captivity, Natural Birth, and The Empress of the Death House. Her literary memoir, The Black Notebooks, won the Annisfield Wolf Book Award for nonfiction, and it was a New York Times notable book. With Cornelius Eady, Toy Derricotte co-founded Cave Canem Foundation, the preeminent home for Black poetry in 1996. She is Professor Emerita from University of Pittsburgh and a former chancellor of the Academy of American Poets. 
to add to all this, Toy Derica has been an incredible mentor and beacon to Black poets and writers in Brooklyn and beyond for decades. We're so honored to have her spirit and light as a part of this year's festival, and so grateful to have her with us here today. Hello, Camille. Thank you so very, very much. Um, to be among the great writers who received the Bobie Award in the past is an unbelievable honor. Lynn Nottage, Mo Williams, N.K. Jessamine, and Colson Jemison, and Colson Whitehead, Jacqueline Woodson in the past five years and before that. Walter Mosley, James McBride, Edgewood Dondicott, for God's sake. Um, this is a big deal and um, it's hard to take in. It's so amazing award. So, but another reason why I'm so grateful is that um, I love Brooklyn Book Festival and the Kavi Khanum Foundation, the home for black poetry, that Cornelius Eady and I co-founded 25 years ago, has an office in Brooklyn on J Street, and we've participated in the festival for years. So I thank you so much, Brooklyn Book Festival, and I can hardly wait for this year's events. Hope to see you all then. Well, we look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much for the work and congratulations to this year's honoree. Thank you, Camille. And thank you. And again, congratulations, Toy. Now, I know everyone here is especially excited to hear the names of the authors who are going to be at this year's festival. And in the spirit of literary community, we've asked some of the authors who will be at the festival to make these announcements, beginning with Sophie Santos who will share some of the nonfiction authors. Here's Sophie. What's up, everybody? My name is Sophie Santos. I'm one of the authors who's going to be at the Brooklyn Book Festival on October 3rd, and I'm here to announce part of the very hot and very talented lineup. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Let's go. Daphne Brooks, Kat Chow, Aminata Forna, Greg Mania, Larissa Pham, B.B. Robinson, Sarah Shulman, Farah Jasmine Griffin, Carl Zimmer, and George Packer. That's going to be some of your amazing people at the Brooklyn Book Festival on October 3rd. I'm Sophie Santos, and I hope you liked this jam. Oh yeah, we like that jam, Sophie. We like it just good. Uh, bring that same energy to the live festival. We all will see you there and can't wait to jam some more in person and right here in the virtual space. So now a special guest with some more nonfiction author announcements. Here's my Sen. Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, my name is my Sen. I'm the author of Tastemakers, Seven Immigrant Women Who Revolutionized Food in America. Uh, you'll be seeing me at this year's Brooklyn Book Festival as an author. And I'm so excited to be joined by the following wonderfully talented writers. They are Hanif Abdurraqib, Paul Astor, Rachel Kushner, Talib Kweli, Kate Lebo, Valerie Lomas, Adam Mansbach, Heather McGee, and Hetty McKinnon. I will see you all on October 3rd at the Brooklyn Book Festival, and I apologize for my very boring background. Uh, it's where I get the best lighting in my apartment, so you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> No apologies necessary, Mayuk. You got a light brown voice. We get it. 
Thank you for that. And uh, thank you to all those authors who we're looking forward to seeing at the festival. Next up, we have Danielle Evans, who's going to be here live in the virtual space announcing some of the fiction authors. Hey, Danielle. Hi, um, thank you for having me. Thank you all for being here. Um, so I will be at the Book and Book Festival uh, on a panel and at the American Short Fiction table. Um, I was asked to, to introduce writers in a way that was fun and it was suggested that like there could be music or dancing, but I promise you um, music or dancing would not be fun for anybody else if I were doing it right now. So um, I'm gonna do my best Vanna White. I'm wearing all the glitter in my house um, and I'm excited to announce these names of some writers who will be joining us for the festival. Starting with Mateo Ascaripor. Melissa Broder. Jaime Cortez. Peter Ho Davies. Rivka Galchin. Francisco Goldman. Lauren Groff. Zakia Delila Harris. Joshua Hankin. Brandon Hobson. Morgan Jerkins and Robert Jones Jr. Um, I'm so delighted to see all these writers and you in person. And we will definitely be looking forward to seeing you maybe in something sparkly. Thanks for joining us, Danielle. And yeah, our, I see you guys commenting in the section. Yes, we're very excited to have Rivka here, Camille, and so many amazing authors. And you haven't even heard the half of it yet, but we're going to keep things moving. And up next to announce more fiction authors, we're going to be at this year's festival is Maroa Yadeje. Hey, hello. Hey. Hello, everyone. My name is Maroa Yejide, and I'm pleased to share with you some of the authors um, at the Brooklyn Book Festival this year. I'll be presenting um, as well. I'm the author of Creatures of Passage. Um, we're very excited after everything that's happened uh, for us to come back together. All you thinkers and dreamers out there, please join us. And so here we go. Uh, Katie. Kitamura, Alexandra Kleeman, Nicole Krauss, Amitava Kumar, Kawan, Jonathan Lee, Jonathan Leatham, Walter Mosley, Cortia Newland, Viet Thang Nguyen, Lauren Euler, and Francine Prose. These are just some of the wonderful authors who will be joining us uh, this year. And I hope you can come out and um, join us for a little bit of magic and, and revelry and creativity um, with our wonderful authors. Our stories must continue. Thank you. Amen to that. I guarantee there's going to be more than a little magic, especially with you there, Morella. We appreciate you joining us tonight. So we're gonna keep things moving right now because what is a fest without fiction? In fact, this is going to be a feast of fiction and to keep things moving, to tell us about the folks participating in the Children's Day and the YA authors who will be with us is Sophie. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm skipping ahead. I'm too excited. Last round of fiction. We're not skipping the fiction yet. We're joined by Brontes Purnell. Brontes, save me. Who's gonna be in for more fiction? Hi, how's it going? Um, my name is Brontes Purnell. I um, totally bought bigger glasses for this festival so people would take me more seriously as an author. Um, I'm going to be at the Brooklyn Book Festival and I'm going to read you some names of some more people that are going to be there. 
um, Ruman Alam, Elizabeth Lim, L. Nash, Azarim Vandervliet Umli, Christine Valdez Quid, um, Saeed Sarah Fuzade, Shang Kui, Jim Shepard, Jim Vandermeer, and Jess Walter. Phenomenal. Thank you for that, Bratens. And the glasses are working. I take you and your work very seriously. <laughs> Thank you for that. So yes, as I said, a feast of fiction. We're going to move things along to, as promised, the Children's Day and YA authors. And to do that, we have Sophie Blackall. Hello, this is Sophie Blackall. I have the pleasure of letting you know that Cyantani Dasgupta and CJ Farley and Gail Foreman and Theo Ganji and Mandy Gonzalez and Susie Jaramillo and George M. Johnson and Veronica Mang and RJ Palacio and Victor Pinheiro and Katie Yamasaki and I We'll see you at the Brooklyn Book Festival. See you there on October 2nd and 3rd, 2021. Love from Sophie Blackall. Thank you for making us all look bad, Sophie. I agree with you, Tim and Donna. That was a lot. And we are looking forward to having even more in the day of. Our lineup is sick, as some of you have pointed out. And again, we're not even giving you an exhaustive. This is just a little table setter, as it were, to get you talking and supporting the festival, celebrating our sweet 16th year. So we're going to be moving right along. Thank you again, Ms. Sophie. Continuing the Children's Day and YA author announcements is Red Hook's own Mr. Tori Maldonado. Come on, Tori. Hey, can everybody see me? We see you. Hey, what's up, what's up? Uh, I'm Tori Maldonado, and I'm repping BK to the fullest. Anybody know which Brooklyn poet laureate said that? Besides biggie, you. biggie, biggie, all <laughs> right? And um, a big thing that's happening in Brooklyn is this festival that's close to my heart because Brooklyn is where I was born and raised. So I'm gonna give everybody a shout out. Like we in the Red House houses, we'll call to each other. Ooh, ooh. Um, I'm also, uh, a teacher, and I've been lucky enough to present at this event. I'm going to be um, back on October 2nd, and some of my friends are coming with me. You know, in Brooklyn, you get a lot of the best things, a lot of um, slices of freshness, like slices of fresh pizza, and usually you get eight, right? Eight slices. Well, I'm about to give you 12 slices of awesomeness that the Brooklyn Book Festival is serving up. These 12 authors are going to be at the Children's Day on October 2nd, and they're also going to be on the festival day on October 3rd. So everybody, come bring your binoculars, get your eyeglasses, pop in your contact lenses, and look for Colleen A.F. Venable. Mm -hmm. Look for Veronica Agarwal, Mahogany Brown, Rio Cortez, Brian Floca, Aram Kim, Lone Lee, David Levithan, Darcy Little Badger, Nina Mata, Alexandra Penfold, and Lauren Semmer. See you at the Brooklyn Book Festival. Brooklyn Fist Bump to you. All right, I'll pick up that fist bump and thank you, Tori. If you don't know, now you know. You know, a little bit, we're gonna keep things rolling along. For all of you fans of graphic novels and comics, here is Xin Ying Kor, 
with some of the announcements of the folks who are going to be joining us from graphic novels and comics. Hi, I'm Shingen Kaur, author of The Legend of Auntie Poe, and I am so excited to be at the Brooklyn Book Festival this year, especially with such a roster of incredible cartoonists and graphic novelists. They are Becca Feathers, Rebecca Hall, Dash Shaw, Julia Kay, Kat Lay, Molly Ostertag, Kristen Radke, and Olivia Stevens. We'll see you soon at the Brooklyn Book Festival on October 3rd. Again, the motion graphics, the creativity, somebody must be ready to come to Brooklyn and read some books. Now we're going to be joined by Nate Powell, naming more graphic and comic creators who will be at the festival. Nate, come on in. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Nate Powell, a cartoonist of Save It For Later and a Brooklyn Book Festival author. And I've got a slate of a bunch more cartoonists for y'all. We've got Frank Abe. We've got Allison Bechtel. We've got Bill Campbell. We've got Needy Chanani. Sharon Lee De La Cruz. Aminder Dhaliwal. We've got Hiromi Goto. We've got Tim Fielder, John Jennings, we've got Lee Lai, and we've got Brian Keith Mitchell. So thanks a lot, and I will see y'all at the Brooklyn Book Festival on October 3rd. Bring your friend with you. Thank you so much, Nate, we appreciate it. And of course, those signs were awesome as we expect from you. I see Robert and Joan, they're in love with your signs. Maybe we could work something out, maybe a little fundraiser, if we can get Nate to make some signs for the folks out there in Zoom land. Nate, thank you. And of course, the Brooklyn Book Festival always brings you authors from around the globe right to our audience. And Suleiman Adonia, is going to fill us in on just a few of them who will be at the festival this year. Hi, everyone from Brussels. My name is Suleiman Adinia. I'm a novelist, and I'm proud to be a Brooklyn Book Festival author this year. And it's a huge pleasure to announce other international authors who are also taking part. And they are in alphabetical order. Anouk Arud Pragazam, Andrea Bayani, Eva Balthazar, Beatrice Braca, Virginie Despentes, Mariana Enriquez, Benjamin Labatut, Samantha Schweblin, Sion, Maria Stepanova, and Juan Gabriel Vasquez. It gives me goosebumps to read all these different names from different parts of the world. It speaks to me. I was born in Eritrea to an Eritrean mother and an Ethiopian father. Then we had to flee to a refugee camp in Sudan and then from there to Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. And then I came to London in the UK and then to Brussels where I am here currently. And maybe it's an illusion, but I always tell myself that I created a permanent nation out of literature. So I hope you are as excited as I am. So please join us. 3rd of October, the Brooklyn Book Festival 2021. See you then. Thank you for that, Suleiman. We are as excited as you are, and Goosebumps is an apt response. The Brooklyn Books Festival, of course, celebrates all literary genres. And here to announce the poets who will be featured at the festival is poet Pamela Sneed. Hey everybody, this is Pamela Sneed here. Um, I'm in tropical Mexico and um, I'm very happy to say I'll be an author participating this year in Brooklyn's uh, Book Festival, the one and only. And um, I'll be alongside authors Kendra Allen, Maymay Bersenbruch, Kimone Felix, Jory Graham, Danica Kelly, Naomi Shimp Shahavni, Patrick Rosal, Khadijah Queen, my Durang, uh, Philip B. Williams. 
thank you. I hope to see you. Bye. No one is jealous of you in tropical Mexico, Pamela. We're in tropical Brooklyn where it's been raining and shining and 90 degrees all week. <laughs> Can't wait to see you at the festival. Now, to finally round out the announcements of authors that we've booked to date, here's Johnny Temple, the co-chair of the Brooklyn Book Festival Literary Council. Hey, Johnny. Hey, thank you so much, Brian, for running such a tight ship. I love your background. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'm mesmerized by that. Um, so we, I got some more, some more great names in this embarrassment of riches of the Brooklyn Book Festival 2021. More authors participating this year include Ilyan Ivan Bertram, Michelle Bowdler, Danielle Clayton, Wilfred Codrington, Ruth Dickey, Melissa Phoebos, Sarah Sia Fennell, Ashley C. Ford, Susan Herman, Karen Brooks Hopkins, Candice Elo, Tiffany D. Jackson, Tom Lynn, Safiwe Gloria Nidlovu, Elsie Rosen, Clint Smith, Phil Stamper, Nick Stone, Darielle Suarez, Angie Thomas, that's right, Ashley Woodfolk, Karina Jan Glazer, Nicola Yoon, and uh, Mary H.K. Choi. Um, so this is incredible. Um, and in addition to announcing those authors, I would like to take a moment to thank all of the devoted and wonderful members of the Brooklyn Literary Council and their committee members. This is a group of volunteers, um, all volunteers, who for years, for 16 years, years now, have given their time for no compensation other than making Brooklyn an even greater place than it already is. And so a big, big thank you to the whole Literary Council and the committee members. Let's share a moment to recognize these great Literary Council and committee members. Thank you for that, Johnny. And thank you to all of the announcers, one and all, and bravo to the Brooklyn Literary Council. Thank you so much for the hard work you do behind the scenes all year to make this spectacular event go off without a hitch every year. And it's already an exciting lineup, but please continue to check the website as more authors will be joining all of the festival programs. Before we get out of here tonight, I just want to introduce you to one more person, Carolyn Greer, the co-producer of the book festival, who's going to shine the light on some of the collaborators who help make the Brooklyn Book Festival the best, the largest, the freest, free public literary festival in New York City. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you, Brian, for the introduction. Thanks, Johnny, for saying the uh, great words about the Literary Council. Um, nobody can say enough about them. Uh, it's my pleasure to be able to make a few announcements about some of the collaborative groups that we work with, cultural organizations, literary groups from across all of New York City. They help us create the robust schedule of bookends, which are those literary special events that happen in all five boroughs. And they will feature best-selling authors, emerging authors, all sorts of voices that range from events like books to movies, poetry uh, at dawn in canoes on the Gowanus Canal, and just an enormous array of uh, programming. And we will be announcing that soon. Uh, and so stay tuned for that. Additionally, the festival collaborates on Festival Brook Inn's programming uh, as well with uh, programs for the actual festival. And with that festival, um, we have programming um, partners like the Center for Fiction, the New York Review of Books, PEN America, the Center for Black Literature at Medgar Evers College, the Poetry Society of America, St. Francis College, the Brooklyn Law School, NYU, the Brooklyn Public Library, the National Book Foundation, 
uh, the Whiting Foundation, the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, and our newest cultural partner this season, the Asian American Writers Workshop. We're just so fortunate to have all of these people help us put the programming together, and we look forward to you all enjoying all of that great programming. The other thing I um, get the opportunity to do, and I, I say it's an opportunity, is to thank those supporters who are sponsors, who help fund it so we can keep the festival free. Their support is um, support of the festival, but it's support of the literary community of New York City uh, entirely. So we'll take a second and I'll put up a slate we will to show you some of those supporters. And we'll go back to Brian. Uh, Brian, we thank you so much for being on the board and for being a host this evening. It is my distinct pleasure. This is my favorite time of the year when we all get together in celebration and support of the great work and people who produce all of the things that we love and sustain us and challenge us and stretch us every time we pick up a book. So speaking of support, as a member of the festival, a board member, I want to announce that in honor of this being our 16th year, we're almost legal, we're launching a Sweet 16 matching donor drive. Now, we've been gifted by committed benefactors who are going to match us up to $16,000 of donations that we receive. That's people who have committed to giving $16,000 to match any donations that we receive. So we hope that you will donate to not only the not-for-profit Brooklyn Book Festival, but maybe you'll even talk 16 of your friends or more into donating to us as we strive to keep the festival free. So it's our sweet 16 and you get to give us a gift so we can continue to give the gift of a free festival to all of the people of Brooklyn and New York at the largest free book event that's happening on this side of the world. Now a link has been posted in the chat line to donate. You can grab that link, share it, send it to your friends. They can click on it. You can send us a check. Venmo, we'll take some Bitcoin if you got them, or just go to our website, website and find the donate button at the top of the homepage. That's at brooklynbookfestival.org. And again, there's a little button up there. It's harder to not click it than to just send us a few bucks so we can make that $16,000 matching grant. I hope you're all as psyched as I am about the festival. So on behalf of myself and my wonderful fellow board of directors, I'm going to invite you to enjoy the 16th Brooklyn Book Festival across its robust week of bookends, the Children's Day, and the main festival day. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you're as excited as I am. Get 16 of your friends together and give us that sweet matching grant money. We really appreciate you being here. We'll see you out in the virtual space at the Book Fest, and we'll see you in person as we love to do. So happy reading everyone, and we'll see you soon. We're gonna keep this chat open for the next 60 seconds so you can continue to congratulate Toy, say hi to folks you need to catch up with and share that link across many, many platforms so we can make sure that it is the very sweetest of sweet 16s. Have a great evening, everybody, and we'll see you at the festival, brooklynbookfest.org to donate. Bye now. <laughs>